Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, let's go over the app bar and the icon buttons on the app bar. So before we already did the pop-up menu button, but this time let's put some icons here where you can actually click on them right inside of there. Okay. Um, so this is going to be pretty simple and straightforward. And we can imagine already why it's going to be simple. Well, we created all the hard stuff, right? We already did the list of things. We created the objects. All we really have to do is change this up inside of here, right? So let's go down here to the app bar. We're not going to change the title. And what we're just going to do, instead of just add the pop-up menu, we're just going to add two icon buttons. Why icon buttons? Remember, because we want them to be interactable, right? So. Because of that, we'll make icon buttons. Oops. Uh, and we'll add icons on there. And which icons are we going to have? Just like the first two, the zero on the list and the one on the list. So I'm going to say icon, new icon, choices zero dot icon. So it's going to be zero dot icon right inside of here. Um, and it's the same thing for the second one, only it's going to be the choice number one. All right. But we can already see right here, remember on selected, it automatically sent the selected choice as part of the argument uh, when you go after the select function. But here, we're going to use on pressed, but it's not automatic. So we're going to have to use the syntax for an anonymous function. And it's going to say select and send this information choices. So we're going to have to specifically define what is going to be the argument. And so you have to be exactly right in this circumstance, which isn't difficult. So it, what you're going to say is select choices zero and choices one. So if you click on it on pressed, it will select right inside of here, choices zero right inside of here, set state selected choice equals choices zero. So select choice is choices zero or one or two or whatever you actually click on. All right. So just like that. So it's pretty simple and straightforward. The thing that we have to realize is on pressed, all of these methods are not created equal. And we have to learn just when to use which method. Um, couple of other things. Notice I click here, car, bicycle, but car and bicycle are right here. What if I want to take off those two? So I want to use this as an overflow button. All right. So I got this, this, I just don't have any more space to put five or six different option icons and options. So I'll just put it as a list of what I cannot put on this list right inside of here. Well, what I would do is by going on the pop-up menu bar, right? And on the pop-up menu bar right here under choices, dot, I would have to put dot, dot, skip, and I'd have to say two. So it's not a list where you skip zero, one, it's one, two. Okay. So I'd have to skip those two. And when I click on it, it will get rid of the car and the bicycle. Okay. And it'll just go for the boat bus and everything behind it. So that's how you basically use it as an overflow button chooser. Okay. Pretty simple. Once we add the basics down, this seems like it's nice and easy afterwards. All right. Thanks.